Hey Randy, during our co-op build last week, I had a lot of trouble with minifigures. Being new to Bricklink Studio, I was already at a disadvantage, but trying to make a space pirate minifigure the other day was madness. And since I really like minifigures, as I've mentioned before, I decided to practice a little bit. And I think I got the hang of it, at least somewhat. In LEGO Digital Designer, it's a piece of cake, but the minifig options aren't nearly as expansive. I tried playing around with minifigs more in Bricklink Studio, while I still don't like having to pick arms and hands separately from the torso, I've come to terms with it. It adds a bit of extra time for the process, but the reasoning is to grant more customization options to the users. Still, I can't help but think there's a better way. I did notice that you could group pieces together, which works well for minifigs. This gave me the idea of creating prefab models, which would be a great addition to Bricklink Studio. They could give us a basic minifigure template ready to go, then just swap in the individual pieces you want. There are still a few problems with the Bricklink minifigs though. I did get hinging working okay, even as a group, but you gotta be careful what you select or you might spin the minifig around like it's time to play pin the tail on the donkey. At first, I had a bit of trouble trying to get the arm to move without leaving the hand behind. I guess you have to click things just right and in the right order, and then maybe it'll work, eventually. After a few attempts, I finally got the arm and hand moving in sync. But this snap to the grid thing is still a problem. I don't know what it's supposed to do or what it's doing wrong. If you select an individual brick, there is usually no problem. But if you want to snap your minifigure to the grid and keep it as a whole minifig, you're going to have problems. Instead, the pieces blast apart into an unholy mess. Also, the pirate bottoms don't snap to the grid properly, which was the source of our original frustrations with our space pirate. Really hard to get the... Uh torso on the legs. Oh, I figured it out. What's that? So it looks like my legs are not on the grid. I assumed they'd snap to the grid, but apparently oh, they that... didn't. Huh. Yeah, it's like he refuses to be on the right grid system. He's like in between. To I'm going to try different legs and see if... See if maybe it's an issue with... Uh... The pirate peg leg. This is not ADA compliant. This just seems to be a BrickLink glitch. They probably need to fix this specific piece. Here's one cool thing I discovered though. You can import models. So the way I might handle minifigs in the future is by designing them as separate models, saving them, and then I can import them in projects when I need them. What do you think of these three? See you soon. <laughs>